Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk a little bit about my hands-on impressions now that I've played the Nintendo Switch. I didn't get one. Um, as I said in a previous video, I got a Wii U fairly recently. I've been playing the hell out of it. Tons and tons of games. I've been buying all the games I want that I missed out on, so I have a very, very big Wii U backlog, and I'm going through them little by little. Uh, one of the most recent ones I just beat was Paper Mario Color Splash, which I want to talk about in a separate video. But anyhow, two of my friends did get the Switch, and it just so happened that we were all hanging out that night, and both of them brought it over. So I finally got a, a chance to play it. I do have some hesitations in regards to the hardware uh, that I do want to touch upon, now that especially that the system has been released. But I also want to just talk about my impressions of how it was when I played the Switch. So in terms of the hardware, I just want to name some things I do and don't like. The things I don't like are the small amount of space. I know you can uh, upgrade it with a SD card, but <clears throat> 32 gigs of space is just not good. I, I, I was hoping for at least like 250 or 500, just so that if, I don't purchase digital really, but just for updates and DLC, if there's anything that comes out, 32 gigs is like nothing. So that that sucks. The the issues with the left Joy-Con, I've heard of. I haven't seen that firsthand. Um, I don't like the size of the Joy-Cons, at least when you're using one. I felt like it was very, very small for my hands. The buttons were very small. I really dislike that the system doesn't have an actual D-pad, that you have to use the, the, like, the buttons on the left Joy-Con. I've been hearing reports and seeing pictures of people sliding the switch in and out of the dock and it scratched a little bit of the side of the screen. That's really worrisome. So you, you kind of need a screen protector as well. So like a $300 investment is really more like a, I don't know, $700 investment. Not Maybe not $700, maybe more like $500 because you, I would probably have to get a pro controller or right, a screen protector is really cheap. It's probably a dollar. Um, you know, I would have to do something where I, I cover the dock a little bit so I don't... And then the things with the hardware, like the left Joy-Con, sometimes cutting out for people, is just... It's worrisome in terms of, of having a launch of a new system. There was something else I wanted to touch upon that's escaping me right now, but I, I'm sure I'll think about it and, and remember. Anyhow, <clears throat> I do like that it's portable. Uh, I'm not a big portable guy. I don't play outside a lot. But it's cool if I wanted to go on a trip or something and bring it and... You can always put it in the dock. The dock looked very cheap. It was just really one circuit board inside of this big piece of like thin plastic. That was the other thing I wanted to say. In terms of the screen getting scratched and stuff, most cell phones now have like glass, like some sort of Gorilla Glass or tempered type of glass, I guess. This has plastic covering it, and I guess they were doing that, I don't know if it was to save money or the resilience of plastic possibly because you know, Nintendo's always been very kid-friendly, but I thought that was kind of a weird move. I thought they should have went with class. Um, I guess that's really it in terms of what my worries are. There, there might be one more that you'll you'll hear me, you know, come out with. I, I didn't think their launch games were particularly great. You know, Zelda's great. I've been playing it a little bit on the Wii U, so in terms of that, you can get it elsewhere. You know. Uh, Bomberman, Just Dance, and Skylanders. I have no like interest at all in Skylanders or Just Dance, and <clears throat> it just so oh it's one two switch. It just so happens that one of my friends who brought over the system, he had like four Joy Cons. Uh, he had one two switch, Bomberman, and Zelda, which I've been playing on the Wii U, as I said. So we played maybe half of one two switch in terms of the amount of games, maybe a little less than that. And it was just very gimmicky. I didn't, I didn't have a lot of fun with it, you know, in terms of shooting each other. There's this one game, like the Wild West, where you both have to hold the, the Joy-Cons, and then when it says fire, you both aim and shoot, and whoever gets there first wins. It's just very simplistic, stupid stuff. There was one that was sort of interesting, which you hold the Joy-Con, and there's a treasure chest on the screen wrapped up in chain. And the, how you move the Joy-Con unravels the chain so you have to do it the right way like a puzzle and uh, that was pretty cool my girlfriend liked that one uh, excuse me fiance we're engaged now I almost forgot um, don't tell her I told you that and what were the other ones that I played that I thought were interesting there was tennis I really didn't like that 
There was um, one with yoga poses where you have to hold poses. Uh, I think my other friend might have tried that in front of me. And then he tried one where you have to dance and like move. And whatever way you move, the other person has to mimic it. It, it just was very, very, the whole thing was very gimmicky. I think there was a boxing one my friends were playing at one point. It did not look like anything I'd ever want to play again. Definitely never purchase if I bought a Switch. So that was a little um, disappointing, I guess. I know some people are having issues with Zelda running with frame rate drops. More on the Wii U, but I think the Switch as well. The, um, the handheld 720p, which is fine for me because I think that looks great, especially on something so small. When you dock it, it goes to 1080. I have heard uh, little grumbles of them possibly putting out like a rendition 2. I don't know if they mean of the dock or of the system. And it has more, I want to say RAM or something that boosts it up a little bit. So maybe just the dock that's more powerful that kind of brings it up a bit that will make it run better. That's kind of cool. Um, we also played Bomberman, which was probably the highlight of the night, but I didn't actually like love it. I thought it was pretty cool, but very shallow in a way, sort of simplistic, and I still pre prefer the Sega Saturn version, if you ask me. I have one of the Japanese Sega Saturn versions that everyone goes on and on about, and I like that one better. Uh, the graphics were kind of underwhelming, in terms of Bomberman especially. I know it's a simplistic game, but it was kind of underwhelming looking, and, uh, you know, we ran around and threw the bombs at each other and picked up the power-ups and then once you die you go on the corner of the screen and you can bomb other people and switch in for them if you kill them. So it was okay, but overall, in terms of the lackluster library thus far, um, all these hardware choices that I was very, like, why would they do that, kind of in a way. Um, some people will complain about the battery life. The battery life I think is around three hours. That doesn't affect me because Again, I don't play outside often, and if I do, it's not for three hours. It's maybe 45 minutes, 30 minutes. It's like little short bursts. But I, I don't know. Overall, I just was really underwhelmed by it, uh, which was kind of disappointing. As I said, I am painted with the brush that I have a Wii U now. I have so many games for like 30 games. I've been playing through them little by little that I don't see the need to play uh, to get the Switch. If I want to play something on the handheld... While Beth is using the television, I use the Wii U pad, you know, so it's just similar in that in that sense. But anyway, it, it was okay. Um, I'm waiting to see what they do in the future in terms of fixing some of the hardware possibly, upgrading some of the hardware with like maybe different renditions, and of course pulling out more stuff in terms of a catalog of games. So not the best impressions, but uh, hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from. Thanks guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.